हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वेबोस्मोटिक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम कनिका भगत विद एन ओवरऑल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ फोर इयर्स इन आईटी इंडस्ट्री आई वर्क एज अ सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर एट वेबोस्मोटिक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर समथिंग यूजफुल विद यू दैट विल हेल्प यू इन योर वर्क सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड लर्न टूगेदर So today we are going to look into how you can manage permissions in React Native based on platform Android and iOS using a single common hook, and how you can manage the whole uh, handling of the permissions through that hook and also the responses. So I have created a, a, sim a simple demo for that. I have created a permission for camera. So here is a single button. on click of which we will be prompting the permissions and we will be managing the uh, user controls based on that so basically uh, for managing uh, permissions in android and ios there are two particular platform specific files in which we need to specify the permissions so let's see for android first so there is a file named android manifest.xml it is present in the android app src main in that you will be able to find the android manifest.xml file so what this file does is basically whenever you have to handle any permissions or uh, say you want to handle deep link for your app you have to uh, configure that code over here so basically for permissions if you see i have added this line so what this line says is we need to add a permission and we need to specify the permission name over here so in this demo we will be uh, showing the demo for camera so i have specified camera over here for ios there is a file called info.plist in that basically we have to add this particular property which is ns camera usage description and you have to specify a description over here this is the description that will basically be displayed whenever the uh, app prompts for the permission so after specifying this in the info.plist and you uh, specifying the user's permission in the android manifest we have added the configuration for uh, permissions on both the platforms now i'll be showing you the code for my app.tsx file it is a very minimal code the rendering part only has two things one is the button that will be will be using to take the user permissions and the second is the image which will be showing the image that we captured through the camera so this is just for showing you that things are working fine and how the image gets uploaded main we will be using this fun uh, button only so i have added a function on the button call so on press i have uh, called this function capture image which basically prompts a function which is coming from this particular hook so we have created a common hook named use permission what we are going to do in that hook is we will only be sending the permission which we need to ask the user so here we are using the camera permission so we have specified the permission over here and this permission i have created a central file for managing that because we have to send it according to platforms so if i go to this file uh here i have specified that if we are uh, running the app on an ios os so for that we will be requiring permission of ios camera and if we are uh, running the app in an android platform then we will be using android camera permission so you can specify all the permissions based on the platform over here then we can directly specify it in the hook so here i am taking this function that is being exported from this hook let's go to this hook and see what it contains so this is the code for the hook i will be adding the repo in the description so you will be able to go through the code so i am basically returning two three things from this hook one is the status of the permission and the second is the function that we will be using in our components to check whether the permission is provided to the app and if not then managing the whole flow like if the user approves it denies it or blocks the permission we will be handling all those cases over here so basically what we have done in this hook is whenever this hook is added to a component it will call these things 
so basically what first split will do is it will call this function check permission status okay this is a simple function which only contains a check method that is also provided by the react native permissions library itself so what will it will do is whatever permission type that we are sending to this hook it will check whether the app already has permission to this particular uh, functionality or not for instance we are using camera so if the camera permission is already added to the app then the status will come as granted if not that whatever the status is of the permission it will come in this status variable so once we have got the status we are only setting it to the state this we are only using if you want to manage any rendering part through the permission else we will not be needing this so once the permission status is set what we will do is we will be checking if the permission status that is being set is blocked or not because there are three major uh, statuses of the permission one is granted one is denied and one is blocked so when the permission is granted we can use the functionality directly if the permission is denied the permission will be asked again whenever we prompt the request permission and if the permission is blocked then the prompt will not be coming so we will have to handle that case by ourselves so what will happen here is we are uh, we have created a function that will handle our blocked permissions so basically what we have simply done is we have added an alert that will tell the user that the permission have blocked and you'll have to go to the settings and accept it manually so this alert will come so the user will know that the permissions are blocked and then we have also added a an option to the alert which says go to settings we have also configured a function which which will basically uh, take the user to the settings when clicked on it and the user can accept the permission from there so this is that function only this is basically for managing the blocked status so if the permission is not blocked then this case will not run so basically here this part was only for managing the permission status and for handling the blocked permissions now what we have what we need to do is whenever the user clicks on this button we have to prompt them to uh, check the permissions if the permission is not approved or accepted then we want to prompt the permission and then we want to handle the case based on what what the user selects in the permission prompt so what we have done is in the capture image we have first called this function which will uh, check if the permission is is accepted or not if the permission is accepted it will uh, call this function which is for handling the image picker and if the permission is not accepted then it will internally run the whole code that will manage the blocked and denied status itself that we have done in the hook so basically let's go to this function okay so in this hook we have this function so what we are doing here is we have already taken the permission status when we mounted the hook in the component so we already have this permission status set in the state so we will be checking if the permission is granted we will simply be returning that status so when we return a status from here we will be getting that status in this particular variable so this variable we can check through that the permission if the permission is granted we can run whatever code we want to and if the permission is not granted then what we will do is we will request the permission again if the permission is requested and the user accepts or denies it it will set this status so in that case suppose a user blocks the permission that will state set this state once the state is set it will call this use effect again and then if it is blocked it will handle the handle block permissions automatically so this hook basically manage manages all the response of the permission by itself so as soon as we get a granted status over here what we have done is we have created this function we have used a library called react native image picker which will basically just enable us to pick an image from the camera or library so here is the function 
this is how we can use the libraries function we can use the launch camera since we are only managing the camera permissions for this demo and the response we will get the url we can i have just set it in the state and displayed it in our component so this is the simple flow the use permission hook does everything on itself we just have to specify the permission over here whichever we want to ask for we can simply run this code whenever we want to ask for the permission and we can manage whatever the further flow will be when the permission is approved so this was the flow i will show you by running this how that particular thing will work so let's click on the select image button as soon as i clicked on the button it asked me for permission hook it says that allow permission hook to take pictures and record video so this permission hook is basically our app's name so this is that now if i click on deny it will not open the image uh, the camera it will not uh, prompt the camera because the permissions are not accepted yet let's again click on this now this is asking me three things either i can allow i can deny or i can deny and don't ask again so basically the block thing that i was uh, talking about was deny and don't ask again so how this works is when i click on deny every time i click on deny it will again prompt me with this permission i will deny again and select it will again prompt me but if i select deny and don't ask again what will happen is it will not prompt this permission pop up again so let's see that i clicked on that it immediately tells me that the permission is blocked and you have to uh, go to the settings to enable it in order to use this feature if i click on cancel it will come back to the app if i click again it will again it will not prompt the permission it will only prompt me the block because we have handled that case in the hook now if i click to go to settings it will take me to the settings where the permissions are user can simply click on the permission select the camera and allow the permission once the permission is allowed now if we go to the app and click on the select image it will prompt the camera because we have allowed the permissions for this particular app to use the camera so just to show it's working this is our camera i will capture an image we will select okay and this is the image so this is basically how the permissions work also the permissions are also provided by the react native package but it only uh, gives the permissions for android so basically we have used this react native permissions package which we have used because we have to handle the permissions on both the platforms which is android and ios so what this does is basically it gives us the platforms and the permission code for both the platforms so if you see the file where we managed this this permission that we are taking from react native permission is giving me both camera permissions as well as android permissions so using this hook and this particular code flow and uh, managing the permissions in info p list and android manifest you will be able to make sure that your permissions work in both the platforms and you don't have to write the code for handling the permissions and handling the block state and approved state in every particular component all you have to do is add this hook specify the permission check the status or request permission and if the status is granted go ahead with whatever code we want to perform so this was it for the for today's video i will be specifying the repo link in the description so you will be able to check that go through the code and you will be also able to pick the code and use the same for yourself so that was it for today thanks for watching if you found the content valuable don't forget to like share and subscribe also leave your valuable feedback in the comment section below see you in the next video